why do they need to take the time to do those things, the vision, the mission, the values, the purpose, the, all, of, all of the things that make up the brand? How is it really actually going to help the business? It's a double-edged sword and, and it's a multiple opportunity for you to establish both internally and externally what your clients see and what your internal team sees, or even if you're just a solopreneur, sort of the reason why you got into business in the first place. What are the key components of a brand strategy? For me, everything starts out with what your brand essence is. And your brand essence is really the soul of your brand. It's that emotive element of what makes you tick, right? The next piece is really clearly understanding your, your purpose. And then I probably, the next piece of that would be your brand vision. Your brand values are, are really critical because that enables everyone on your team to really get behind the foundational beliefs that you stand for. How important do you think it is to also have a large community or group supporting the brand and creating that UGC as well, user generated content? I think it's critical and there's there's different ways you can go about it. You have five people, each of them have a hundred followers on their social media. Think about how much bandwidth you can cover by the five people talking about your brand or just you talking about it yourself. Their understanding is this little teeny box of logo, fonts, colors, you know, pictures, and you're going to open their mind up to un really understanding how it's going to affect the business and it will affect the business. It enables you to have a healthy business. And a healthy business is just like your body, right? If you if you want to live a longer life and live a healthy life, you have to put in some work up front in terms of your diet, in terms of your lifestyle, in terms of your sleep habits. And I'm not trying to go all woo-woo here, but your business is sort of akin to your body. How much work you put into it up front is going to engender how much healthy and long health and longevity you have in the long run. And, but I ask myself questions. I don't allow myself to just think, if that makes sense. A very specific question I shared yesterday, actually, when I was speaking with Dr. Haley, is I say, then what? And you just keep walking yourself through the story till you get to the other side of that negative feeling or that thought, and then you go back to work. Yeah, I love that, asking yourself a question. I have a similar ideology around that, but my language is, what would it take? and then I follow it up with whatever it is that I'm struggling with. And I find that, and you can do that with your brand as well, like anything, anything you're struggling with, what would it take to, to have the answer around X? Or what would it take to be able to solve this? And what happens is your brain starts sort of subconsciously, unconsciously behind the scenes, formulating all of these puzzle solving paradigms for you that just start to brew and like come out of nowhere and, and enable you to solve your problems. So I love that you do that.